Hello everyone, uh, Chris today came to our La Regiment Bourbonnet drill in uh, Coventry, Rhode Island at the Nathaniel Green Homestead. Uh, the Bourbonnet, we had all of our newer members and our new sergeant come to train them and learn how to be better soldiers in the French line. And he asked if I could demonstrate some basic French drill from the 1776 musket manual that the French army used here in the American Revolution. So first off, here is our musket. It's the, the one we carry is the 1777 French infantry. Uh, most of them are made by the Saint Etienne Armory in France, uh, but uh, it's much like the Charvel Armory. It's just an armory name, it's not the name of a musket. Uh, it's pretty typical. It looks almost like the, uh, the earlier versions, but it's slightly different. Uh, it does have a brass pan. It has a sight right here, and the bayonet lug is on the bottom by the rammer. So. For all those people that say it's a bayonet lug, not a sight, well, for us it is a bayonet lug because we also have a fancy sight. Uh, the, ba the musket itself is a little bit longer than the brown bess. The whole thing clocks in it at uh, five foot long. So, but it's, it's relatively a, a decent weapon by any standards. It has the bands that we're very used to in the French Army. Uh, the 79 clothing warrant changed the belting arrangement so the, the bayonet was held on a carriage off of the cartridge box, so the, the cartridge pouch, the Gibberne in the French uh, language. So we have it here, and then we have a bayonet hanging off here, so we don't have another belt, which makes things a lot more cut down, a lot less expensive, which is what the French Army was really doing throughout the 60s and 70s, trying to be a more efficient, less expensive fighting force. So the bayonet was moved here in 79, but the musket drill is still written around the bayonet being here in the 76 clothing warrant, so it sometimes gets in the way, but you do get used to it. So when the French army assembles, we come here. This is called a posé vous sur vos armes. And we will go through an inspection, which is a safety inspection, but it's actually written into the French drill book. So when we fall in a posé vous, the first thing will be the inspection. The command would be company A, inspection, des armes. We put the bayonet on to make sure it's locked tight. We lock it in. We take our baguette out. And we put it in like this. And then we stand here and we wait for the company officer or sergeant to come by. And then they will pick up the musket. They'll spring it to make sure that it is empty. They'll come here to make sure that we our flint or wood is in. To make sure the bassinier is clean. And to make sure the bayonet doesn't fall off. They'll then hand it back to me. And I'll take it as an enlisted. And I'll take the baguette out. I'll return it. And then I'll come back here to pose a vue and stand here dutifully waiting for the company to be fully inspected. After that, we begin the, ma uh, the maintenance de arm, which is just the, what the British would call the, sixth, uh, the 35 count. So that goes like this. Company A, porte vos arm. Posez vous, sur vos arm. Vos arm, a tear. Relevé vos arm. Porte vos arm. Arm, a bra. Porte vos arm. Remite la bayonet. Arm, sous le bras, a gauche. Porte vos arm. Posez vous, sur vos arm. Repo. As you noticed, there was no advance. The French army does not have an advance like the British or the Americans know it. Uh, for us, that is just called the porte de l'officer and the sergent. So when the company as itself is commanded to porte vos armes, all the enlisted, the privates, the soldats go up to here, but the officers will take their musket and they'll lift it and they'll come to what the British and Americans know as advance. But this for us is just the porte, the shoulder of the officers and the sergeants. So if you're an officer and a sergeant, you carry a musket here all the time. And if you're a soldat, you carry a musket here all the time or here. We also do not have a trail in the French line. So if you are a French private, you're carrying your musket here or you're carrying it here and that's it. If you are a sergeant or an officer, you can actually do arm a bras as well, but it's more complicated because the command is arm a bras. Grab over, twist and flip, and you go down. And then porte vos arm. It's much more complicated. For a posey boo, for an officer, it would be up, down, and then we flip down there. 
It's very easy and repel. That is the regular uh, musket positions, and that's really all there is for how a uh, soldat would be carrying the musket throughout his day. Next, we go through the firing sequence. The French army have a 12-step loading sequence. It's very complex. It's very uh, partic uh, particular. So it would start from Porte, and the whole command would be Company A, de la charge, en douze temps, charge, vos armes. Ouvrez le bassinier, prenez la cartouche, décherez, armissé, fermez le bassinier, arme à gauche, cartouche dans le canon, tirez le baguette, boudé, remettez le baguette, portez vos armes, and then that would be the full step to load. And then for apporté, en jeu un fou, that is our make ready, present, fire. The premier rang on apote would do that. And then on Anjou, that is when the premier rang moves their right foot back to make a T with their left foot as they are Anjouing. And then on Fu, the fire, and then we wait for it to go off. And we bring it straight back here, and the command will be to charge au volante. Uh, the other way of doing it in the French line is to not actually order you to reload, they would just not tell you to go to porte. So theoretically on the field, you would hear apporté, anjou, fou, and then if you didn't hear porte, rose arm, you would automatically reload and then go to porte when you're done. But if you've just fired and you're down here with an empty lock, you would say porte, rose arm, you'd calf cock, you'd pan shut, and then you'd go back to porte. And so you'd all, always be at porte with the lock firmly closed. And then the French line, after you do the, uh, the firing by the 12 steps, and you do apporté en jeu fou, that's where they then teach you how to do présenté vos armes, which is the present arm. So présenté vos armes. As you see, it's much like the British and American one, but it's a lot less effort. There is no foot motion. There's no going through poise. It is just a twist and a drop. That's it. Um, it's not something you do that much, so I just think they just didn't care to make it that fancy. As with anything else in the drill manuals, they never tell you why you're doing it, they just tell you what to do. So, that is an answer I've been trying to find, why their salute doesn't have more steps to it. And one day I'll find the answer. If you know the answer, please leave a comment so Chris can tell me. That'd be really great. The next one is the bayonet. Uh, the French army denotes changes, they don't denote similarities. Uh, so, in a drill book in the French line, you're reading through it, and if they don't talk about something, that's because it's been the same forever, you just keep doing it. So in the 76 drill book, there is no how to charge bayonets order. In the, the last one, the previous and the previous one, there is no how to charge bayonets. The, early, the one I can find that's the closest to my time which means it's the one we're probably doing. Uh, it's from just after the Seven Years' War. Uh, and the command is présenté la bayonette. And we twist like that. All the British people know that. And then we bring it up here like this. And this is in several illustrations. I'm sure they'll be somewhere next to me. And th this one is found in a, this position is found in one from 1774. And then there's one from 1762 or 64. Again, it'll be right here. And that one is actually further down. But we as the Bourbon A go up higher because of that 1774 illustration. Also, in the earlier drill books, you see things like apporté being down here, and apporté is higher, so we have felt that as a logical conclusion to bring things a bit higher and tighter. I think that's really about it for uh, musket positions and things we normally do. There's a lot of marching, but as with anything in the European armies, there's only so many ways to march 500 people left, right, and center. So it's just the words are the difference, but the actual motions are the same. So, uh, once again, I'm Ian from the Regiment Bourbon A. Uh, forgive my undress uniform, it's 90 degrees out, so this is my, it's very hot, my regimental coat. I like to keep it nice, uh, coat. So, thank you very much, and leave a like and a comment.